I could write one book, maybe I could write two books, then three books, then four books. Listen to me, there ain't nothing you can't do. You handle your business, money will come and chase you, but you gotta be the best person you can be so that you can even be trusted with money and wealth. Truth be told, I shouldn't even be here. It's, and I'm gonna be honest with you, like, it scarred me. I, I had issues with that, because I'm like, yo, we're, I, like, what's wrong with me for you don't wanna be here? So I felt like, I'm gonna be honest with you, I felt like I was a mistake. I wasn't valuing education. You know what I'm saying? Like, I value the streets. I value being a class clown. I value women. I wasn't valuing, like, school. I wasn't trying to be no scholar. I was trying to get money. I was trying to kick it. I was trying to get a few laughs. Life spiraling out of control. Got to a point, I said, you know what? I got to grow up. I need to grow up because I'm on some little boy stuff. I should be making my mom proud. I should be making her smile. I should be giving her joy as opposed to giving her pain, giving her a hard time. I was like, yo, whatever I gotta do on character, I ain't blaming nobody else. Listen to me, I took back my power. For years I was blaming folks. But if he was in my life, if this teacher wouldn't give me a hard time, they always on my back, it was his fault. I, I stopped blaming people. Because when you blame people, you give them your power. I took my power back. I took complete ownership. I said, nope, this is all on me. I made the mistake, I'll make the adjustments. It's all on me. I promise you a shift started taking place, right? And so, I end up, it's the craziest thing. I end up catching back, I end up catching up with my right grade. I had to take summer school, I had to take like, night courses. So when all my other friends was kicking it, that was hard. I was like, yo, I wanna go kick it, but let me, let me make the main thing the main thing, cause I'm tired to see my mama cry. Like I'm tired of living here, like I want better, I want more for my life. So I recognize I gotta make some adjustments. I start making the adjustments. So I was just like, yo, everybody who talked negative about me, I'm about to show them they was wrong about me. And everybody who believed in me, I'm about to prove them right. And I'm about to have my mom crying for the rest of her life. She's so doggone proud of me. So did high school, boom. Did college, I said, shoot, if I can do college, maybe I can get my master's. I'm like, why not? Why not push the limit? Why not be a next level student? Why not try to get the absolute best out of me I can get? So I said, well, shoot, I'm going ahead, go ahead now. I'm gonna do grad school. Went to grad school, got the master's. Now I'm like, shoot, I've had to get my master's. I had to write a whole bunch of books, uh, papers, and read a whole bunch of books. I'm like, well, shoot, maybe I could write a book. But my first book in 2010, I've been writing a book every year. I just finished my seventh book called Next Level Teaching. I never thought I'd be traveling the country. I never thought I'd be traveling the world. So I want to challenge y'all real quick. Like, ask yourself right now, all eyes on me. Like, ask yourself, what kind of life you want to live? Like where you want to be in the future? Hey, what's up? I hope you enjoyed today's video. And check this out, you gotta subscribe because I've got so many more videos in store for you. And when they come out, I want them to come directly to you. So click subscribe and let's keep building together.